Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are continuing on with the steam locomotive, and today we are actually working on the steam locomotive itself. Essentially, what we need to do is we need to put the lights in, these actually need to work. Uh, we also want some lights in the actual buffer itself as well, and we also want some lights on the back of the tender also, uh, so we know which way the train is actually going. I'm not sure if in the days of steam this was actually a thing, but uh, we're gonna run with it anyway. Okay, so just before the video begins, if you guys are enjoying the series as it is so far, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and maybe leave a like on the videos that you do watch. Also, I will be making creations in the future that are different to this, uh, so if you guys want to see those, um, yeah, try and stick around. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and get inside this, and we're actually going to delete this and this uh, on both sides. Let's go ahead and do it on both sides, and we're going to put some lights in. Alright, so we could actually use RGB lights, but we are not going to do that today because we're just going to use these ones. There we go. Awesome. We're then going to paint these two pieces like so. Bam. There we go. That's both of the sides. And then we need one of these to actually be red. And we need the other one to be uh, like white slash cream, I guess? We're going to go with cream. There we go. And then essentially we just need to do this on the other side. Uh, we need a way of turning these on and off. And we also need electricity for them. Uh, but then once we've done that, we've, uh, we're good. We then need to put the buttons on the inside and fix that bit. Okie dokie. So at the back, uh, we actually need to move these bumpers. I, I believe they need to go in one. So we're actually going to put those there, uh, which is annoying because I need to delete this. Put that on there like that. Then we need the tank tracks again. And we can just whack those on there like so. All right, awesome. They're now in the right place. We're now going to go ahead and delete these two pieces like so. We're going to go ahead and get the lights again, and we're going to go ahead and smack them on there, and it's going to be fine. All right, here we go. Whack that right there, put another one on top of it, and we're going to color them in the same way we colored in the last ones. All right, so what did we color in the last ones? The bottom one was red. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the red, and the top one was cream, so let's go ahead and make it cream, and that is it. All right, fantastic. Now what we need to do is put some buttons inside the actual thing itself and figure out how we want this to work. Okie dokie, so the buttons themselves are going to go in right here. Let's go ahead and make sure they're in the right place. So one there, one there. We're also going to go ahead and paint this bit white. All right, cool. Uh, this is going to be marker lights on the front. Oh no, we need four buttons. Do we need four buttons? No, we only need one. All right, so um, forwards. And then actually, no, this is just lights. This is just lights. Um... Oh god. Uh, no, actually, we don't even need buttons. We don't need these. Alright, so the way that I'm thinking we do this is we attach this, which is our reverse, to these lights on the back. Um, which is gonna be... That one's gonna be white, this one's gonna be white. Alright, awesome. And then these ones are gonna be red on the front. So the bottom one's red. Is the bottom one red? I can't remember. Yeah, bottom one's red. There we go. And then we want it the other way around for these ones. Yeah, that makes sense. So when the reverse is on, uh, that turns on the front lights to red. It turns the back lights to uh, white, uh, and that means we'll go backwards. All right, now we need the opposite for the other lights. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and give all of these electricity just like so. Wham, I whack all of those together, whack them to there, and that is fine. Do the front ones also because they need to be done. Uh, this actually needs to be attached to the main thing as well. There we go, and we'll attach the rest of these to there, because that makes sense. Alright, whack those to there. Awesome! Alright, if we spawn this in, that will lower down. Okay, and we should have lights automatically on. There we go, we do. Okay, if we go to the back, we should also have lights automatically on as well, which indeed we do. And then, if we go ahead and slap reverse... Whoa! Slap reverse, the lights should be changed. So the ones at the front should be red. Do 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 do. Yes, they are. And then the ones at the back should be white. Yes, they are. Now, I need to show you guys the logic behind this. So, essentially, if we go here, this is a knot gate. Uh, so, essentially, you attach the reverse button up to the knot gate, and then the knot gate to the opposite signals, uh, the opposite lights, and that's how that works, which is awesome, because it does totally work. Okay, so now I've had a lot of criticism over the name. I'm not going to lie, we have had criticism over it, but we're going to go ahead and fix it today. So, let's go ahead and grab this. We'll also grab the other two pieces, which is these two. Go ahead and cut them, move them backwards too. There we go, paste it in, 
And we'll take it to the other side and do the same thing. Do 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 do. Okie dokie, bring it over. And we'll paste it right there. Okay, paste. Awesome. Delete this and this. Merge this to there. And that's it. Alright, cool. So now we need to move this one backwards. Oh. We need to go from there all the way down to here. We need to grab every single bit of this. We're going to cut it. Move it backwards too. Paste it right there. And then we can grab this. Move it this way like this. And then it could be queen of. And then something else. Probably rails. That sounds good. But anyway, I've merged that together. That's awesome. We don't need to do the other side. Because we're just going to copy this over in the end anyway. So that's all A-OK. -okay. Make sure all these are red. And then we can change it as we go along. And that'll be pretty cool. Alright, good. So essentially, we can now change this to be the right thing. Wow. Crazy. Alright, move this all the way out to there. Awesome. Do the same thing with the bottom one. Yes. There we go. Uh, that means we can actually paint this bit like this as well. Alright, awesome. And then we can drag this all the way out to the sides. And that is pretty cool. Alright, go ahead and do this and this. And there we go. Okay, now we have, like, a, a slightly different issue. Um, because I need to put rails in here, uh, this doesn't really work. It doesn't. It just, it really doesn't work. Uh, if I wanted to try, we would try and change this P. However, if I did change this P, it would have to be smaller. So it would have to go a lot smaller than this. Like, I guess like that. There we go. This would go sideways too. We would have to do that. And then R would go, like, that. There we go. Alright, that's an R. Cool. Um, but it's not the right size because it needs to come out to here. So we need to actually extend this like that. Delete that one and that one. Okay. R. Okay, we can, we can have that as, that could be an R. All right, there we go. Uh, we can delete this and this. Oh, no, wait. And this. Put this piece in there and there. That no longer looks like an R. Oh, God. Okay. We're going to go with that being our R right there. Is that an R? I don't know. I'm going to leave it like the, like, like that. There we go. I'm going to say that's an R. Then we need an A. Okay, so we'll put an A in. Here we go. A. Um, oh God. A. How do I do an A? Across there like that. And then across. I don't know whether that's right, but sure, we'll go with that. Then an L. Okay, L's are pretty easy. Bam, there we go, awesome. L, I, I is easy too. Okie dokie, I. And then, S. S is annoying. S is a really annoying one. All right, so let's say S starts here. Goes along the top, down. Back in, back across. Down, back across. And that's an S. Queen of Rails. There we go, do you guys like that more? Hopefully you guys enjoy that. There we go. All right, good. How is it done on both sides? It's actually a full box. And there we go. Awesome. Queen of Rails instead of Queen of Prue. Poo, poo. So now we actually copy this. We turn it around. We drag it to the right place, which is there. We take it to the other side like so. And we paste it right there. Paste. All right, we then merge it together like so. And that is awesome. We're also going to merge this one. And that is fine. All right, Queen, queen of Rails. Oh, God, I'm in it. That's not good. Queen of Rails. That actually looks really good. Yes. Nice. All right. So we got our lights. We've uh, we've also got the uh, Queen of Rails put on the side as well. This on the back doesn't look awesome. So we're actually going to change it. It's going to be all of the black. It's actually going to be changed to red. Uh, and we're not going to have an outline because I think that totally works. So we're going to get rid of all this, which is annoying because we took forever putting it in. But that's fine because we're going to get rid of all of it. And it's going to look better because of it. So there you go. All right. All the way around the sides. All the way around this side. That is awesome. We got frantic on the side. That's pretty cool. Okie dokie. So now for spotlights. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, put the spotlight in somewhere around. Actually here. We'll have it here. So. Oh, should we have it one higher? We'll actually put it there. I want them to be in random places. So toggle buttons. Let's go ahead and grab a toggle button. We'll go ahead and whack it in right there. We'll make it the right color. So it's going to go like this, and then we'll actually attach this to the spotlights on the front, there and there, and that will be labeled spotlights, believe it or not. Uh, spotlights, there we go. All right, fantastic. So that's attached. Uh, this needs to be attached to there and to there, because we need electricity. That's very good. 
And this needs to be attached to there, because we also need electricity there. So now if we spawn this in, we get our automatic lights on the front, which are going to be that color. Awesome. Maybe we should move them to the side one. I, I reckon they should probably be there, but we'll leave them for now. That's okay. And then if we go inside of here, like so, we we actually press this button, and the lights on the front should be on, which indeed they are. Nice. What else do I actually need to do to this thing? I'm not entirely sure. I was thinking that maybe on the front we should have something dangling, uh, which is either really cool or really weird. Uh, so I was thinking we'd have this on the front like this. All right, let's say like that. There we go. And we have it go all the way out to here. Oh, maybe not, actually. Maybe it should just go out like this. And then we should have a rope connector. Here we go. One of... Oh, no. It's not actually called the connector. Anchor? Yeah, an anchor. Here we go. Uh, a cable. Here we go. So that would go there like that. We would then actually attach a separate entity. Like this. Whoa. Like this. To the bottom. Well, I guess like that, but like I can't. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Okay, hold on. Do this down to there. Delete these two. Grab this. Put it there. L link those together via a rope. Okay, good. And then we can have a light on the bottom. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Light. Is this going to work? Maybe if it points forwards. It's kind of weird, but I like it. All right, we're going to go with that. Uh, and we're going to see what it looks like when it's actually moving. Also, we can put rails on the side. Oh, guys, this would be cool. Here we go. Rail segment end. We can actually put that there like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And that might look cool. I, I really don't know. Uh, we're going to keep it, though. All right, there we go. Um, that sends signal through to there. This gets its signal from the lights. Actually, it's going to get signal from there. Awesome. Uh, and then they need electricity passing through. That's fine. And that is it. Oh, then this needs to attach to there. Okay, is that right? I think that's right. Uh, we're then going to paint the light itself to be brown. Here we go. A brown light. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's run it in. I like a dangling light, but it doesn't work. Oh, it does. It does. It's just because it's not connected to anything. I didn't connect it to anything. There we go. Right, is it going to work now? Yes, it is. Look at that. We got a little light. It looks a bit weird, not going to lie. Also, the front of this just looks very boring, doesn't it? It looks very bland. Uh, and I'm not sure how I want to fix that. We could put the helm back in if we have it, like, be pushed forwards or, like, turned into it. That would work, but I don't know what to do with the front end of this. Not sure. Oh, also, because these things are annoying me because they're not actually in the right place, we're going to grab this. Uh, we're going to cut it. We're going to move it down like this. We're going to move it forwards. Whoa. I want it to go in the right place. Backwards from here. Oh, I actually would need to go backwards like that. See, because it doesn't actually fit there. It would have to go back in there. We don't have enough room for that. I can't do it. I can't put it here because this is outside the build area. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We'll leave it where it is. That's fine. Okay, so I was wondering if I could actually use one of these hood things for this little piece. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure I can get to it if I do that. So we'll have a little check. We'll jump up, get inside again. Whoop, just like so. Awesome. Jump inside. We'll see if we can still get to it, which we can't. That's annoying. It'd be really cool if we could, though, because that looks... I mean, it adds something, doesn't it? Okay, instead I actually use the smaller ones, and that doesn't look bad at all. I, I don't mind that. All right, cool. Anything else that we actually need inside the main vehicle itself? I don't think we need that much in here. Um, but, I mean, we've got what we've got, so I think we'll keep it. Oh, also, for those of you guys that wanted me to build the tender so that we could actually walk through it, uh, it doesn't really work that easily because the hoppers in this game, I wanted to use the large ones, and I have, um, I would have to use really small ones to actually make this into a, uh, one of those kind of tenders. So, um, I didn't want to do that, so I haven't. But, um, there you go. I like this thing. It, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so now when we move, when we actually drive forwards, uh, let's have a little looky here. ba 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 bum. Yes. Uh, we can actually turn on these lights. That's awesome. There we go. We can turn on that light as well if we wanted to. Bam. Nice. Uh, now when we move forwards, we actually get our lights on the front, which is very, very cool. Um, on the sides, there we go. And we've also got our lights on the back, which is also really cool. I'm just waiting for this to hit 100, then we can actually drive forwards. Yeah. I don't actually mind the way this, this actually looks on the inside now either. 
I think it looks all right. But anyway, we're gonna move forwards like so. There we go. We're going. We got our little lights on the front. We do need to move those somehow uh, because that just isn't it. It doesn't look very good right now. Um, the side, Queen of Rails. That actually looks really nice. I like that. Uh, the front again, this side needs changing to the same as the other side. And then the marker lights on the back actually look pretty good. Yeah. All right, now let's make it nighttime. Here we go. Oh, this looks amazing on a night. Okay, and then for the front, I actually really like that. I really, really like that. I actually like the lantern as well. Looks pretty cool. And then if we turn on the spotlight, we can actually see in front of us. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to end this video here for now. Um, thank you guys very, very much for actually supporting this series. I, I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, we're going to change this frantic off camera. That's okay. We'll change that. Uh, the numbers on the side will also be changed as well because uh, 1010 is different to 010. That's 101. That's 1010. But anyway, um, we're going to change the numbers on the side. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. And uh, from there, I think it'll almost be ready for the workshop. And then, I guess in the next few videos, we'll actually work on the carriages again. I need a few more carriages, and then it'll be done, and I'll upload all of it to the workshop. But anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.